Hi, this is Emmanuel Zavaios here in Las Vegas. Thank you for tuning in to My Emotion Code Journey, uh, Episode 4. So today we're going to talk about uh, three subjects. I always talk about three subjects um, during this journey. For those of you who are unaware of what I'm doing, again, my name is Emmanuel. I am, I'm actually going through the Emotion Code. Uh, I'm trying to become certified in the Emotion Code practice and as I'm going through this, I'm actually going to be sharing with my friends and family and people I don't know um, exactly what I'm going through. It's kind of like a journal Monday through Friday. And I'm going to be learning uh, new things, obviously, from Dr. Bradley Nelson. But the interesting thing is that I come from a family that are both oncologists. And so one of them was is very uh, orthodox in his ways. And he's very um, he's a great doctor. He's uh, He works for... St. Francis Medical uh, Center, I mean, amazing doctor with my dad. And then my mother, um, you know, she kind of combines Eastern and Western medicine, but she was also an oncologist as well. So that's my background. And then I also have a background in marketing. So um, it's going to be interesting to know what comes up because uh, I'm going to be learning about myself and I'm going to be, as I'm teaching you guys and sharing the little tips that I've learned, I've also learned things myself and things I need to change about myself. So this is truly going to be a journey. I'm going to be raw, transparent. I'm going to let you know what I'm going through. And hopefully you guys are either interested in what the emotion code is or you're maybe looking to become a practitioner and wondering what you're going to be going through. So um, so for those of you who are unaware of what the emotion code is, I always kind of share a brief description Emotion Code is a practice uh, created by Dr. Bradley Nelson. It's energy healing in regards to using your uh, muscle testing to find out what's subconsciously, what your subconscious knows about your health and um, different blocks in your life, uh, what we call trapped emotions, also called heart walls, uh, that were created either during trauma or overwhelming emotions or uh, toxic relationships, different things that we think we forgot about, but our subconscious brain is the forever camera turned on since before we were born, even inside the womb, and basically remembers everything. And we can find ways to take things outside of you so that way you don't have to have that trapped emotion. And that trapped emotion causes um, more issues in your life, causes blockage for love, causes, um, you know, desensitizing, causes health issues, and a lot of people don't even know that they have it, so that's why we go into the subconscious mind and figure it out. So it's a very interesting practice. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm about one-third on my way to actually being certified, so you guys are coming along with me. So this is episode four, and I'm going to talk about three different things. Number one is the great divorce. Number two, how to overflow with joy. And these are things that I've learned during the webinars, so I'm teaching you little tips and tricks and things like that. And number three is a book that I highly recommend that um, maybe you haven't read yet, but it's something that usually the third tip is something to do with my self-development journey. So um, even though I'm studying about uh, this energy method, I'm also learning uh, self, I'm trying to create self-development um, improvements in myself. And so I'm reading a self-development book, a biography, something to assist my character as I build uh, in this industry. So Number one is the great divorce. So uh, I'm just going to be very transparent with you guys. A lot of people don't know this, but it's something that I'm willing to confess to the world um, just because if I don't, I just feel like I'm bearing it um, to myself. But, um, you know, and I, I feel like I can't move on unless I release it. So why not to the people that are following me in my journey? So number one is, you know, I went through a very terrible divorce back in 2012. And, uh, I don't want to go too much details into it, but it was a very, very difficult time in my life. I had a lady betray me in so many ways. Um, I have a son that I have not been able to see as of yet, and he's out there in Virginia. I have um, a guy who has taken great large sums of my income as a business partner. Um, my mother passed away in 2011. Why am I bringing this up to you? You're like, wah, wah, wah. Well, because as I'm learning more about the emotion code, the more I'm learning about how many potential trapped emotions I might have myself. Um, a heart wall is something where your subconscious brain creates some type of formulated uh, protection around your heart. And it could be made out of any material. It could be made out of brick, 
uh, brick, steel, wood. It could be 10 feet long, a thousand miles long, and it's basically around your heart. <clears throat> and I guarantee the more I think about it, that I have these trapped emotions and that I myself am healing myself as I learn more about the emotion code so that I can heal others better. Because, you know, as the, as the good book says, you know, you can't take, a, you know, a stick out of someone's eye or a thorn out of someone's eye if you have a big moat in your eye, you know, like a bigger stick in your eye. So um, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I want to be someone that is able to heal myself and help others as well. So that's number one is if you're either becoming a practitioner or you're looking into the emotion code, just know that the emotion code practitioner is going through things uh, that probably makes them feel very vulnerable, made me feel a little bit insecure because I started realizing that I have to tap into myself. So that's number one is just get, just get, um, this world is a lot more exciting when you kind of flip your, flip your insides out because you, you need help. We all need help. We all, we all have had some issues in our past life. So whether you're looking to get treated by an emotion code practitioner, just know that that you're not going to just be venting and then someone gives you good advice. It's someone who really wants to heal you. It's a very, very big difference. You know, ther therapists, psychologists, they want to just mask it and give you something to take. You know, here, take this. This will make you feel better. But the, they're not going to the root problem. So we're getting rid of where the root problem got started and, and what's contained in it. And so, and then it'll, it'll destroy the symptoms that come from it that you've probably acquired. So it's a big difference. It's actual healing. It's not a bandaid over something. And so I'm excited for my own journey because I know I need, I need healing myself. And as I heal myself, now we're going to the second subject is called, how do you overflow with joy? And I've always known that when two people come together, it's not that I complete you, you complete me, you do 50, I do 50. I've realized, and the more I learn about this, is that that people come into this life or into a business or into a relationship and they're basically ha uh, their cup half full. So, you know, you should be coming in with a full cup with someone. Like, you know, you're, you you love yourself, you you take care of yourself and you work on yourself and things like that. And someone else has the same type of uh, growing patterns and then you guys overflow with love. That's and, that, and that's usually not the reason why we have a high divorce rate is because of two reasons. I believe one is because they expected the other person to complete them. And the second thing is that they're coming into a relationship half, like their cup half full. And the reason why it's half full is because they're both unconscious of the trapped emotions they have inside of them. And because of that, you know, they don't know what they don't know. And so you could be having you could be having issues with this person because you're allergic to love or you're allergic to having success in business and that brings financial problems which disrupts a relationship that you could have it could have been amazing but because you don't know what you don't know it could cause issues so that's the second thing is is think of going into an emotion code practice or meeting an emotion code practitioner as someone that sees you and you you should see yourself and I see myself as a cup half full that we haven't seen our full potential yet. We haven't seen what it would look like if all the barriers from our heart have been gone. And it's not that you were bad at your relationship. It's not that you were bad at business. It's just that you just came with baggage. We, like Imagine going into like a beautiful home and you just come in, you're like, hey, I'm ready to do this. I wanna to go to this beautiful white home. And the problem is, and, and God's inviting you to go in, he's the owner of the home. And all of a sudden you're just dirty or you're bleeding and you're just staining everything. But you think everything's okay. But, you know, it's like you're you're ruining something that would be amazing for you. You just haven't changed your clothes. You haven't come in white. So that's what the emotion code does is it, it, it helps you absolve with it absolves you from these trapped emotions, which makes you dress in white and you can come into a white home. And then you could really see if, it, if this home is for you or not. Does it make sense? And hopefully that makes sense to you. So that's called the uh, I just want to talk about that subject overflowing with joy. And I think. I think I can't wait for this whole world to never have trapped emotions, not have trapped emotions, and to not have heart walls. We could do anything. We our, our relationships would be skyrocketing. Our our business would be skyrocketing. Um, if you have employees, your your employees would be just doing fantastic and reaching their maximum potential, and and uh, you know profits would go through the roof. But we don't know that because we just don't know. We don't know. So 
The third thing is a book that I recommend. It's called Supreme Influence. I highly recommend it. It's by Niurka, N-I-U-R-K-A. It's one of my uh, favorite books of the last year. And I just, <clears throat> since my third uh, subject has to do with self-development, I don't have a tip to it. I just have um, a book that I recommend. So if you haven't got it, I'm not getting paid by her. I'm not endorsing her. I haven't actually even been to one of her events. I just know that I read that book and it was a very, very powerful book, especially if you're a woman. It definitely has the type of a women empowering She's a very empowered woman, and I love that she brings other cultures to open up her awareness. She would probably be open, very open to the emotion code herself as well. So that's uh, that's my recommendation, my book recommendation. If you haven't read it, Supreme Influence by Nierka, you're going to thank me later on. And you might even message me on Facebook and say, hey, that was a great book. So um, for those of you who want to get in contact with me or want to stay in touch with my emotion code journey, um, you can go on facebook.com forward slash Emmanuel F. Zavios. So facebook.com forward slash Emmanuel, my first name F, Francis, and then Zavios. And um, feel free to message me or you can, like I said, I'll be posting these videos five times a week. So I'm going to be on Periscope at around 8.30 in the morning, every single morning, Monday through Friday. You can find me at Emmanuel Zavios. And then I'm going to be making a YouTube video out of it so you can share it with your friends or if you want to re recap on it because Periscope deletes it, you can watch the YouTube video. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you gain some value. Uh, I always end my videos like this. Um, you know, the world has a false notion where I'll take care of you, you take care of me. But we all know here that if we take care of ourselves, we can authentically take care of others. And as we take care of ourselves, we can change our home, we can change our city, we can change the country. And uh, we can eventually change the world. So with that, this is Emmanuel Zavios. Hopefully you guys have a great day today. And uh, I'll be um, recording my next video uh, very, very soon. So that way you guys can share this journey with me. Take care. Bye-bye.